Hi everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. This is the last video of the year and I didn't do anything horribly festive this year due to the nature of things. I know we're not all really going out to New Year's Eve parties so I said save the glam, save the glitter. I'm going to end the year off talking about something that I think I've really warmed up to mostly this year and that is blush. And I know so many of you love blush. I get very good feedback on any time a new blush comes out or I do swatches and reviews of blushes. I know you all love them. I have really come to love them myself, but I know the ones that I just always reach for, go to, because I know that little bit of color on the face makes such an enormous difference, but I've really just realized what sort of suits my style of makeup, which is really quite heavy on the eyes, a little bit more neutral, glossy on the lip. So I do like a nice amount of color to add some life to the face, but nothing overly bright or strong. So I'm gonna run you through five of my favorite blushes, um, some of which are old, um, as in hasn't been released this year, others have been released this year as well. And then before I get started, I did wanna remind you to subscribe to the channel because I love making videos in January because it's when I go through all the new launches of the year and I essentially crown my top favorite pick. So this might be a little sneak peek into that, but I am just going to get started. First of which, this is an Old Faithful and this is a formula I love. I am heartbroken that more shades have not continually come out because there are only two, but this is my favorite. And this is from Antonym. This is their highlighting baked blush and I am choosing the shade Lily. So they also have the shade, um, oh my God, I forget what the name of it is actually, it's quite a long name, but it's more of a peachy sheer option. I actually like that more as a highlight, specifically on the deeper complexion. But this one here has a gorgeous, rosy mauve tone. And so what I love about it is that it already has that radiance baked in there. Even when you look at it, when I show you up close, you will just sort of see it picking up the light. But since it's that baked formula, and if you don't know about baked formulas, um, they're amazing. They blend especially fantastic. And it's because you take this product, it essentially starts as a cream, you bake it, and then it gets into this powder form. And it is often domed, mine is significantly less domed from being used. Used. Um, so it maintains a lot of the cream like properties and looks beautiful on the skin every single time. I love this because if I'm in a rush, I'll throw it on. It'll give me the color that I'm looking for. It'll give me the glow I'm looking for. So I can usually just skip highlight all together. And I love that about this blush. It's stunning. Again, I wish they had some nice, rich, deeper shades, but if you're a light, medium skin tone, this one would be stunning on you. It might be my all-time favorite. I cannot tell you how many times I reach for that thing. It's amazing. Now let's move along to a newer release and you guys will know if you read the description box, you see what I'm wearing. This is a lot of times the one that it is. And this is from Ritual de Fee. This is their Color Nectar Pigment Balm in the shade Bee Sting. Now I did a full video on these products. There are um, two or three other shades in this lineup, but this is no contest, hands down my favorite. They do have some really nice rich options in the lineup as well, but what's fabulous about these and most of the Ritual Defeat cream products is their universal use. So if you'd like to use it on your eyes, if you want to use it on your cheeks, if you want to use it on your lips, you are more than welcome to, and it behaves well um, on both the lips and cheeks in particular. Today I do have the shade Beasting on my cheeks, and it is just the most healthy, juicy, warm pink. This shade would look very beautiful on a variety of skin tones. Like I said, if you like it as a lip option, you can always do that as well. But nothing will make you look healthier. This also has a beautiful luminosity to it as well. It's really quite pigmented, but has a watercolor sheer effect, which is essentially what they're going for with this pigment balm-like combination. So I do have that on my cheeks here today. I like to put on quite a bit and blend it out. I have it across the bridge of my nose and you can see I just look like I have a nice flush of color, not overwhelming, goes with everything. I love this formula. It's so, so freaking beautiful. 
Now moving along to a blush that I've had for a long time. I actually have this individually. We don't sell it individually, but we sell it in this really nice palette. But I had to mention it regardless because it is actually a very nice palette in general, specifically for my neutral lovers out there. But this blush, I just cannot keep my hands off of. And this is the Pretty Naked blush and very aptly named in the Pretty Naked fruit pigmented um, cheek and eye palette from 100% Pure. So in here we are getting, I'll just quickly run it down, you're getting three eyeshadows. You got a light, medium, and dark, and a little bit more of a metallic colorway. We get the blush in question here, and then we also get a luminizer. So all in all, I am recommending this product, of course, because I do believe in every single one of these products. I say it is worth the buy, but the blush is the star of the show. Now, this is really one of those blushes that I've always loved because it is that colorway that I adore. It is a rosy brown nude, and I just love these sort of shades. I love that it has a little tinge of rose to it. So these colors I've actually always associated with like wearing a red lipstick. It's like you want a little something on the cheeks, but wearing like a full pink blush is like a little too much and any other color just doesn't really feel right. This is that perfect shade. And this formula is especially beautiful because it's really, really soft and buttery. So it just blends on the skin so beautifully. You can really apply it quite liberally without worrying about any sort of, um, you know, mishap going awry on your cheeks. It's just beautiful. It works well every single time. And whenever I don't know what blush to wear, that is always, always the option. Another one that is very much in that same vein, but it is a cream formulation is from Fit Glow Beauty. This is their Lumi Firm Buff. And I've used this countless amounts of times. I love this product so much. The two of those layered makes for a beautiful all day wearing option. Layering creams and powders is always a great thing to do. Anyway, this product is really nice because again, it's very, very blendable. I like to use the little dual ended brush that Ficlo created to accommodate these Lumi products. So I will link that down below for you as well. I think that's just the easiest way to use it specifically because the acrylic nail situation, you know how that is. But anyway, you can really just sort of tap it in with your fingers. Um, I won't even blend it out with the brush. I will just apply it that way to get a really nice healthy coat. Go ahead and sheer it out and it always looks beautiful. And of course, the benefit of all of these Ficlo Lumi Firm products is that they have um, skin firming peptides, collagen in here as well. All things to make the skin look nice and youthful, and I love me an added skincare benefit in a high-performing makeup item. That is such a good one. I'm going to round this out with a little bit of a cheat, only because it's a duo, but I thought, why not? So this is the Cure Weiss Vibrant Ray Duo. Now, they came out with these duos this year. I love these. I've reviewed them. I will link it down below as well. But this one is hands down my favorite duo because it is the size of what you would get a full-size cream blush at. Blush for me, very hard to use. Got quite the collection. Only one face. Masks are being worn now. Only making it trickier. But in here, we have the Joyful Cream Blush from Cure Weiss, which we'll focus on first because I just... Love this color. This is a lot brighter, more corally. I love to have an option like that, but it really is quite warm. So it's just ultra, ultra flattering on my more olive skin tone. And I love this for when I want a more bronzy, beachy look. It actually really would have looked nice with the makeup look I have on here today with a little bit more of a warmer lip. But I digress. The formula on these is beautiful. I love these because even if you have oily skin, it will really, really, really make an awesome pairing because they're not overly greasy and slick. They build beautifully, blend out very nicely, and do not at all feel tacky on the skin. So they have different duo options, but this is hands down my favorite um, one because you do also get the Cure Weiss Highlight in Ravishing in here. And I love that highlighter as well. I know that this is not a highlighter video, but a nice added bonus because you are getting an amazing blush highlight. And I find that this is a lot more easier to use up and I would rather repurchase an item that I've used to completion rather one that has gone bad because it's been sitting in the collection for too long. So that is it. Those are my five I wanted to share with you. I know you love blush. I'm really learning to love blush. I wanted to share that with you. If you enjoyed this video, please give this uh, video a big thumbs up and subscribe. 
I do upload new videos here every single week and I don't want you guys to miss them. Um, I do also upload a bonus video every single uh, month on our Instagram page. All of our social media will be down below. Every product I mentioned will be down below so you could shop them right here, right now. Get a little holiday New Year's gift for yourself or for a loved one. But thank you all truly from the bottom of my heart. This is from my mouth. This is from everyone at Integrity Botanicals. We appreciate the love and support so very much, especially during such a difficult year. So here's to hoping 2021 is a much better one. Here's to so much more amazing content coming in the new year. Please leave a comment. I would love to know what you would like to see. I appreciate you all. I cannot wait to see what magic we make together in 2021. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.